So, today we're gonna be testing the Wii USB 3 to SATA dual bay docking station with the flying clone function. I use this device on a daily basis for discloning, creating backups, and to recover data from crashed operating systems or corrupted hard disks. This docking station costs about 30 bucks on Amazon, and I'll put the link and 20% discount code down below in the description. Inside the box we have the docking station, USB 3.0 cable, power adapter, 12 volts, 3 amps, and simple user's manual. Let's look closely at the main unit. It has this nice dust cover, USB 3.0 port, power input, and on-off switch. Nice rubber feet, which hide screw holes, two slots marked as A and B for 2.5 and 3.5 inch drives, clone button, and LED indicators. Alright, so let's plug this in and see how it works. It's plug and play device, so there's no need to install any additional software or drivers. Now put your drive into a slot and power on the station. Here's a new drive, and as you can see I have full access to the file system. So we can easily recover data from crashed operating system or access the data on some old drives from a broken laptop or desktop. When you're done using a hard drive, click the safely remove hardware icon and eject your device before turning off the docking station. So let's try the SSD and check the data transfer speed. I'm going to copy this 4GB file to the SSD and as you can see it's pretty fast. It's actually the maximum speed that my SSD can provide. You can also use this station with M.2 SATA SSDs. All you need is the SATA to M.2 adapter. It costs about 4 bucks, the link in the description. As I mentioned above, this docking station has a flying clone function, but you can also use some applications which give you more control and flexibility over this process. For example, using the new tool partition wizard, you can clone this 1TB drive onto this 1.5TB drive. Select the source and target drives, and this application will automatically resize partitions, shrink or expand, so just click apply and let it do its job. Using the same method, you can clone your internal drive onto the external one. It's very handy if you want to create a full backup of your computer or upgrade your hard drive to an SSD without reinstalling Windows, games and all your stuff. The only difference here, it will ask to restart your computer because you can't copy C drive with running operating system. When it's done, simply replace the drive in your computer and you're good to go. Ok, so now I'm gonna use the offline mode, which means that computer is not required. The docking station must be disconnected from a computer, otherwise it's not gonna work. Then put the source drive into bay A, this is the drive you wish to copy data from. Next insert a target drive into slot B. The target drive must be equal or larger capacity than the source one. In my particular case, this is half terabyte and one terabyte drives. Power on the docking station, finally press and hold the clone button for about 3 seconds until 100% LED lights up. Release and immediately press again. Once complete, you can switch the station off and remove the drives. The target drive is offline because it has a signature collision with the source drive. You can either remove the source drive or right-click the disk and select online. As you can see, the half drive was cloned as it is. Using Disk Manager, you can extend this partition. Or using Partition Wizard or Acronis, you can extend all partitions the way you want it. So, as you can see guys, it's a pretty versatile device that can be used for different tasks. And it's definitely must-have device for every IT technician.